Good evening and welcome to Sunday Night in America. I'm Trey Gowdy and we're grateful you joined us. The situation at our southern border continues to spiral downward. It's a crisis no matter what word politicians use. A crisis is defined as an unstable or crucial time. I don't know what could be more crucial than the security of our country. I don't know what could be more crucial than knowing who is coming to this country and why. And I don't know what could be more unstable than women and children making a dangerous trip fraught with all manner of peril from cartel members to oppressive heat. I don't know what could possibly be more unstable than politicians preaching false hope to desperate people simply to score political points or avoid having to do what is the single hardest thing for some politicians to do, which is admit they're wrong. I'm sure you're left to wonder why we as a country continue to debate these same issues decade after decade. You're left to wonder because there is actually consensus among you. There is consensus among most of the people. Not full agreement on every detail, we will never have that. And no, not every single person is in agreement because there will always be those who profit from division and anger and disunity and then sometimes we just disagree. But there is a broad consensus. And where there is consensus, there should be a solution. And yet nothing happens because the will of the people never translates into legislative action. It's almost as if the political advantage some elected officials perceive in having this debate year after year outweighs the desire of the people to have reasonable, logical finality. And that's what I'm looking for, finality, a solution, something that can last longer than one executive order to the next, longer than one election cycle to the next. Most Americans believe a sovereign country should have border security because a sovereign country is entitled to know who is coming into and going out of the country. Yes, it's national security. Yes, it makes economic sense. But even more fundamentally, a country has the right to meaningful borders and to have those borders respected and honored. It's actually what makes you a country. We're not a planet of nomads. We're a planet of countries. Vice President Kamala Harris, way too late and without a whole lot of conviction, finally said, don't come. But that's hardly provocative. To tell people not to make a dangerous trip armed with nothing but false hope. It's not provocative to tell people to stop trusting coyotes or cartel members. But even simply saying, don't come, Vice President Harris was criticized by that element on the far left who really don't believe in border security or border integrity. So where are we? If we had a secure border and security in our visa programs, then I think you would see movement to the next logical stage, which is providing legal status for those who were brought here as children before the age of legal accountability. You might even see movement among those who are here now unlawfully but who have otherwise followed our laws. And then you would see further movement toward a legal immigration system which smartly balances economic reality with our commitment to family as the foundation of society. But we don't have border security. So there will be no movement until that indispensable prerequisite is met. In fact, not only do we not have border security, law enforcement believes we may actually be headed in the opposite and wrong direction. We've seen reporting on men showing up at the southern border with criminal histories, including sexually assaulting children. We've seen an increase in certain drugs crossing the border, just as we are finally beginning to see some light at the end of the opioid struggle. We're even seeing an increase in cartel activity on our side of the border. If you want to see depravity in person, if you want to see acts of inhumanity your good conscience cannot even contemplate, if you want to see the worst things you have ever seen, things that will make you question whether there has been any moral evolution at all, look at these cartels. They are sadistic, but they are also opportunistic. 
They can sense the weakness, and then they exploit it. Border security is not only a country's right, it is your right to know who and what is coming and going from this sovereign nation so we can keep it safe. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.